the angel of the church in Philadelphia write, Indeed, I will make those of the synagogue of Satan who say they are Jews and are not but lie. Indeed, I will make them to come and worship before your feet and to know that I have loved you because you have kept my command to persevere. This can apply in one way, as we might say, to the here and now. Going back to Jesus' Sermon on the Mount, Matthew 5, where he says, Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. That by our, what would we say, moral life, that by our living according to the word, not being like the world, they see and they at least, at least say there is a good person, there is a moral person, there is a righteous person. And so, and in so saying, glorify God. They, in a sense, worship at your feet. It can be expanded to a church, a congregation. The people say, you know, there, there's a congregation that, I don't know, does things right. You know, they're, they're different. The Lord and people in so doing, the Lord uh, brings honor on that congregation. But again, the greater application comes on the day of judgment. When all nations and tribes and people and tongues will be gathered before the throne, and they will be separated, the sheep from the goats. And yes, even the goats will hear those words of Jesus to the sheep. Come, blessed of my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Everyone will know and recognize and say, Yes, these are worthy to receive that inheritance through faith in Christ. They will have to say Amen because they will see us for who we are, children of the Heavenly Father members of the kingdom of our Savior Jesus. And this comes through the keeping of the word. And that is not law-based. It's not. It's through faith. For whatever is of faith is not sin. The Holy Spirit sanctifying our works, cleansing our works, persevere, continue to study the Word. Go back to the parable of the virgins, where the five wise said to those who came to him and said, give us some of your oil, and they said what? Go to those who sell. Go to those who have the Word. Go to those who preach the word. The day of judgment, it will be too late. Go back to the, to the verses from Hebrews and the Psalms that we quoted in the last devotion. Today, if you will hear my voice, the word is with us now. The door is open. And through the Word, we persevere 
through all things by faith in Jesus, who has the keys and is the key to everlasting life.